So, of course, Mechelen last year uh, with 79.9, I think it was, really close to 80%. So that was, of course, amazing. And then my favorite moment as well was uh, at the World Cup in Lyon at home. Uh, the public is amazing and uh, yeah, there's such a nice atmosphere and uh, I really hope we can find that again. I remember that day perfectly. It was at the end of the test and he had done a really nice test. Uh, we had just one small mistake which was a bit expensive, but okay, coming out everybody was, they were all standing in the tribunes and applauding and screaming and, and normally Gus is really cool and really quiet. So I sometimes dare to let go of my reins and like clap and encourage the public to clap even more. And actually this time he took off <laughs> and he jumped so high in the air. I thought I was seeing the ground. So I think that was quite a famous moment as well from the World Cup. <laughs> exit, uh, how can you say, ring exit. Uh, he jumped so high in the air, it was actually really funny. And uh, so it's that moment where you get this adrenaline and this excitement after your test when your your home public is so happy and as well so it, you feel encouraged. Yes, a very special and emotional moment was with Sammy here in Salzburg. He danced very great with me together in the in the test in the freestyle and in the prize giving, he wanted to show all the people how he can dance. He was amazing and the people are um, so happy with this horse and with this freestyle and I was so proud of him, on him because he was very young and he presented and performed so well. One special World Cup moment was of course my first victory with UNE in 2014 in Gothenburg. Um, maybe it was so special because no one expected us to win, so didn't I. <laughs> and a few weeks later we flew to our very first World Cup final in Las Vegas. So we flew to the other end of the world to stay on the podium. So it was a very big, big, big thing for me and that was definitely a proof that dreams can come true.